We can see there's a there's a whooshing, whooping sound. If we go to the vehicle report, you can see the dynamic cornering light and all the front signals, as well as the engine sound. So what happens, I believe, is the power is coming through the sound generator, and that also, as well, the lights come through as well. So if we replace that part, it should hopefully fix all these errors. One of the signs uh, I do have the sound generator problem is the car is completely locked, the, ca the keys aren't anywhere near, and yet the lights are still on. So we're at the front of the car and you can see there's a speaker, that's where the front speaker comes out, just behind the grill. If we go around the side, we should be able to access it through this side bit. Right, so now I've uh, got the screws undone, what we can do is unhook it and we should be able to see the part there. Firstly I'm going to put a piece of polystyrene just to give me some space to work with. And if you can see that's the part we're looking at. Uh, and it's quite big. So that's why I've moved the tire like this. I'm hoping I should be able to pull it out this way, uh, but m might need to move the tire the other way around. Uh, and there's looks like there's two bolts at the bottom, one at the top. But I'm going to also have to move this uh, speed assist or some sort of sensor out the way before I can get to the one at the top. I reckon. Yeah, right. I moved the tire now. It's much easier like this. And the first step was to take apart that speed assist with the number 13 millimeter spanner and I've dropped it on just on top there and now we can see the sound generator which we'll now try to uh, take apart. So I've managed to get the connector off. Uh, what I had to do was take a flat screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and put it into the second sort of slot at the top. So I'll try and Try and show that. So it was. That's going to come across. So you got the first one. You don't want to go in there. It was coming into the top lift, and then it can pull off. So we've now got the sound speaker out. We can see the numbers there. Uh, that's where the connector was connected to at the top. That's the only point. The rest of it's all smooth around there. There's the two bolts, and then the one on the top. And what we can see in here is the bit in the front grill. So what I believe is happening is water, fine mist, it's coming through there into the speaker, and then shorten it, which is a terrible design. Uh, we can also see some. The previous owner must have been near a farm because lots of wheat. Um, and bits of stones, which is great. So I'm going to try replacing the part and hopefully all the errors disappear. And uh, I managed to put the part in, I bolted it up, and we have success. I didn't even have to do any, any sort of clearing of errors. Uh, I can now control the lights once again. And just to sum up what was happening was last night I lost all headlights. I still had the uh, LEDs. But I lost the front indicators and the headlights trying to drive back in the dark, which was great. Um, luckily it was only a, a short little distance. Um, so once you see these engine sound errors, it's it's uh, worse than you think because you can lose the lights as well. Uh, so thanks for watching. Bye.